Okay, um, I'm going to make a book. I I was showing how to, you know, how, why I make art journals, and then somebody asked if I would show them how to make these books. So I'm going to show you what I do. Now I make, I have one of my personal, this is my prayer book, and I use it in the morning before I meditate. It has my prayers in it, and then um, it also has affirmations, it has a prompt for gratitude, things I'm grat grateful for, a lot of change me prayers, um, just little statements, you know, through divine grace I move into my rightful place, I am free of old drama, I don't need the trauma, and I have all sorts of stuff like that in here. And I read it every morning, and um, it keeps me buoyed up. Let your raging desires become preferences. That is your part. After that, all things will be done for you and through you, not by you. The whole universe bows to the one who is fully let go. And I love that prayer. Anyway, so what I did, like the other things, I just put a bunch of scraps together. And then after I built it, then I started writing in my prayers. So I have some scraps. And this is what I mean by scraps. These are maybe... Um, I was working on a project and often I do many, many, many of them and then I'm looking for the best ones and those are the ones that I complete. So the rest of it kind of gets thrown out. Even though this is a decent painting, but there's, there's some things in it and I know why I stopped doing it. So anyway, that's what these papers are. And um, that's kind of cool. I'll just put it in there just for fun. And these are things that I could continue to do, doodling on and write, and the back of them I'll write on the plain paper, right? And this is going to be the back of the folder, the book. But I have to sort of line things up. So I decide I'll put the two front and cover together. And this is a, it's called the Cinch. I got it at Michael's. It was, um, I got a really good deal on it. That's why I bought it. But uh, I was looking for a paper cutter like this, a, um, you know, a, what do you call a binding machine. So all you do is you place it in here. Now you could move if it had longer, um, you know, pages, you can put it out. But this one's short, so I want to make sure I have everything starting at the same place. And it's all actually going to move it over a little bit. I, they have all these buttons here that tell you exactly where it's going to hit. And I'm pushing it back in. Okay. And I put it down. And so I got my holes. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all of these. If, um, if I don't want... Like this one, if I put it in here like this, it's going to have, let's see, I, I want to have it, I got to have holes that are, that are going to be synonymous with this, even if they end up here, that's okay when I do my rings, but I, anyway, so I got to move it over, but because I don't want a hole, I don't want this hole, so I'm going to pull this thing out, I don't know if you can see that. So I pulled this little button out, and it'll stop it from punching right there. So because I didn't have that, otherwise if I had had that button pushed in, it would have chomped off right here. It would have made a nick. But we don't want that. So now I can, when I get ready, I can put it in here wherever, as long as the holes at line up, right? Looks, looks like I needed a little bit right there. So I'm going to, um, hmm, how am I going to do that? I'm going to put it back in. I guess I do need that. Well, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll get my, I'll fix this little part with my um, crocodile later. Running in the sand, living on the land The salty breeze was in our eyes We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced All night We polished all the chrome on a rusty
dusty little home We slept all night in parking lots We tied our hearts in double knots so tight So free Okay, now I have all my pages cut and I'm now going to put them together and uh, I, I'll use like a, a brush to go through the holes to kind of hold it in place. So this one is going to do this way so that when I turn the page it'll be open like that. And shoot, I, I want to do that with this too. So what do I want this up against? I guess that looks good. And a back page. This is my back. So I want to line these up. Now I'm going to have to mess around a little bit right here. And that's okay. I can do that. So I'm going to build this up. So I got this here. So I've put my back piece on. I'm using a um, a uh, paintbrush. And I'm just going to use it to sort of hold everything in place. I am going to have to, fi I'm going to have to put a little hole here uh, with my crocodile to, so that the um, the wire will coil right correctly. And then this is the cover. If I wanted to add any more in there, I could. So there is my piece together. I'm going to turn it like this just so it'll hold it together. I could have had a clip, but I don't have one with me. I have one in the other room. Now this is how I make my coils. I don't like the plastic ones. I could buy one. Heidi Swap sells them plastic and maybe she even has a metal one. So they're the kinds that the little, you know, they fold over and they, they go like this, like a claw, but I don't like them. I don't, I, if I'm going to do, I like the handmade. So I'm into it being funky. It's not perfect and that may not be your preference and that's fine. I don't care for it. Now this is 18 gauge wire. I think I prefer 16 gauge for this, but I don't have any right now, copper wire. And you can see I'm just using a dowel to make my uh, coils. So how many? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 holes. So I want to make at least 12, 13. I'll make 13 coils and then maybe I'll make 14. And then I'll cut it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And okay, so I got my coils and I got clippers here. I'm just, it's better, you know, copper's not that expensive. It is, but it isn't for this <laughs> to cut off an extra inch just to give you some space. I cut that off and, um, and now I'm just going to kind of open it up. I'm twisting it so that they're a little bit bigger. So that's another reason why I haven't done this for a while. I forget my little tricks. And so I'm opening them up a little bit so that it'll... Um, so it'll bind swiftly. I'm just going to coil it right in. It's really fun. And so I got my book together. Now uh, I see here that I'm going to have to fix these holes. So I brought these other, I do have regular hole punch. This is a pretty thick paper. Some of it is 300 pound watercolor paper. So I could use a leather, if you had this, a leather punch, a regular paper punch. But I really recommend, I highly recommend this as a crocodile. And it has a really, really heavy duty. It's very heavy duty. So I need to line this up. And I can see that I need to make a little dent right in here. So maybe it would have been a good idea not to have uh, closed that, um, that, that hole off. So I'm going to have to move this out of the way. Yeah, so there's a little messing around with it. Where did I want it? I want it right on, right on the end there. So I could have done that, just left the, um, so I'm using the big fat 
uh, hole. And I'm actually going to go right off of the edge. I just want to be able to co put my coil on here, through, you know? Uh, so I'm not worried about the fact that it's just come off the edge. I just want to, I need to be able to get through it. See how it lines up pretty good. Okay, now is there anywhere else where I need to do that? It looks like it. So you can see there's some fussing around I got to do because <clears throat> that's just the nature of the beast. Okay, uh, looks like I need to make a little hole here. And I'll do it this way so I can see it. So I line it up and then I'm just going to punch through that. <sighs> Which way did I have this? It looks like I'm going to need another one. This goes here, and this goes here. Now, if you are a perfectionist, you may not be able to handle this, but <laughs> I kind of like things funky, so I, I, like I told you before that when I was a customer, and I know how to sew, but I was very and not very straight in my stitches, and I tried to be, but the same is true with my drawing, and I sort of had to embrace my imperfections, because if I didn't, then I would go crazy, because I just couldn't be perfect, you know? Some people have a really steady hand, and I just don't, but I like to do what I do, so uh, I don't want to, you know, it, somebody told me a long time ago, if I let my perfectionism get in the way, I'll never get anything done, and I really, really listened to that. I feel like it's one of my life lessons to have learned is patience and not being a perfectionist, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, here's another little part that needs, I can see that it's going to need a hole. Now, I could do this easier if I just took a pencil and um, made a hole there and even here. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And I just want to be able to get in here. But I want to go through, which is the big fat one. I want to go through the holes that are already there. And then here. Okay. <laughs> ah! It's even harder when you're trying to talk it through. When you have people watching you, and you're like, "Oh my God, how did I do? How do I do this? I must look like I'm insane." But it works. Okay. I'm trying to line this baby up here. This, this thing keeps moving out of the way. Of course, they're all different weights, too. You know, I got 90 pound paper, 300 pound paper, 140 pound paper. I mean, it's this really thick, they call it elephant ear. So it's super thick paper for watercoloring, and I love it because I can, when with watercoloring, I can do a lot of scrubbing and I like to scrub. I like to not just scrub, but I like to do things like carving out images. So it is sort of lifting, a lot of lifting of the watercolor paint. Okay, so now I'm ready to do this and I'm going to start here. Up, oh, going the wrong way. Everything in there? Yep. And we're coming up to the next one. I'm going to pulling this one to give it a little room, and as I spin it around, it just spirals right in. Isn't that fun? Yeah, checking all sides. I can even can kind of. Oops, something's in the way here. This little sucker's out of the way. It's getting jammed up on these little pieces. That went too far. Come on, go back in there. There it goes. Okay. Now, what is holding it up here? Uh, come on, you can do it. I know you can. You can do it. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> oh, boy. It's just jamming up on that little piece there. I'm 
Only two more. Only two more holes. Come on, you can do it. Now it's getting a little, you know, there's not as much thickness. So it's kind of odd. Like I said, it's not perfect. But I'm almost through to the other side. Okay, and now I'm now I can just finish this off and I can choose to put I could put something on it. I can um, I can wrap this around and just make a little loop on here on here. I don't know if you can see that. I really have no idea if you can see any of this, so we'll find out. So I'm just turning, uh, making a loop. Yeah? There. This side. And I may cut this off. I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm, I think I might take this apart. But for our instructive purposes, I think you get the idea. So there we have it, a nice little book. Now, mine is funky, I admit it. I am the girl of funk, but uh, you could make it all nice and neat, you know? I just like to use up my scraps. This is not inexpensive paper, so I don't like to waste it. Yeah? Groovy. Let me know what you think. <laughs>